Hello YouTube, uh, this is Ham Radio Reviews doing another uh, video today. This is the setup I have uh, for my solar powered demonstration video I have made. I'll put a, a link at the end of this video. But this one is for uh, the 857 uh, Delta from Yaesu and the Atas antenna. Let me get this here. This was from the solar panel. Okay, this is the amp the Atas antenna uh, on a magnetic uh, base uh, at the roof of my car. Uh, you see here what you see these yellow cables are radials. These are four radials, two and a half meter, uh, meters each. Uh, this helps the antenna tune on uh, 20 meters and above 17 uh, and all the way uh, up to 6 meters. Uh, that's because this is a very short antenna. It's 1 meter 65, I think, when it's fully extended. And uh, it needs a, a strong uh, grounding to operate correctly. Normal uh, usage for this antenna is to uh, mount it on your car, something like this I have for my 2 meter rig here, and which should be grounded. I had this on my previous car, but now I don't uh, want to use it like that. While I'm on mobile, I want to use it uh, when I'm parked with the magnetic mount here. Okay, now let's see what you need to do to tune the antenna. The antenna works. Let me load this. The antenna works with uh, the 857 Delta, the 817, the 5 uh, watt, I think, the 897, and newer models, the, eight, the 891. Probably I think the 991A2, not sure about that, but I'll check it. Okay, now, we are at, not sure if you can see that, uh, 18 megahertz. This is the 17 meter band. I have not tuned the antenna. Let's go here, where the, I don't hear anything. Okay, this is not tuned. The first thing you need to do, you see here, this is displays the ATAS, the ATAS uh, word here. Uh, for uh, first of all, you, the first thing you need to do to display that, you need to go to the menu, menu number one on the 857 Delta, and activate the extended menu. You first need to activate the extended menu. Uh, you go to there and you change it, the setting with the tuning wheel here. This needs to be two on, and then you need to go to the tune menu. It is alphabetically, thankfully. Let's go all the way down here. Tuner, ATAS, and you need to select the ATAS, HF and 50. Here, the other options are Tuner, which is, it means that uh, uh, you need to have an external tuner connected to, uh, to the rig. ATAS, all, it means HF 50 and the other uh, antenna port, which is for 2 meters and 70 centimeters. It can work, but the, uh, the antenna can work in those bands, but it needs uh, special radials for that. This is ATAS HF and 50 option. ATAS only HF without the 50 megahertz band and off. I have it to HF and 50 because I also need want to work the 6 meters. Okay, let's get back to the setting here. Press and hold function. Uh, to go back to the display here now okay one thing uh, I forgot to mention while in the field uh, when you're in the uh, menu here you need to press and hold the funk button for it to save the setting okay and here it is now it says ATAS and then um, Press momentarily the funk button to find the tune menu. Here it is. From here you uh, press and hold to tune it coming up next. One more thing to note is that you see here ATAS uh, is uh, in, with uppercase uh, letters. Uh, if you see it uh, with lowercase letters, like here this is broadcast radio for example, or let's go here on um, 2 meter band it is with lowercase with lowercase letters this means that 
the ATAS system does not work uh, with these settings on this band um, uh, it will not work if you try to tune nothing will happen okay that's it uh, on with the, the rest of the video okay now it says ATAS here so you already tune the antenna then you press and hold the tune here A button which is the tune let me change because I hear someone there okay let's go here press and hold and if you see don't worry about this this WR here it says wait okay here if you see the antenna now moves here now it moved and I think it already tuned let's check checking 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 no SWR I am on the power is 75 I think on 20 watts okay if you see there is no need for you to change from upper sideband to uh, uh, FM or CW to tune or lower the power because it does this automatically you need to do that when you want to fine tune uh, if you want to fine tune for example here let's go to FM lower the power something around uh, 10 now you will need with you need to fine tune with the down and up buttons you key you key the microphone so that it transmits you hold it and you move the antenna up or down now let's change back to let's do that no let's change back to there here i'll show you how to tune manually tune it later for now there's no wr if you see here testing 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 sierra victor 2 radio mexico kilowatt throw portable nothing Okay, now there's some uh, uh, SWR here now uh, from auto tuning the antenna, uh, and let's see how we can uh, manually tune it. Uh, the first thing you need to do, you need to do two things first: uh, reduce your power. You have more than 10 watts to 10 watts. Okay, and the second thing is to switch to FM mode. There you go. Now, while keying, while transmitting, you need to press either the up or down buttons. Let's try with the up button. Uh, you see, you will see the SWR here. Okay, now I'm keying. Okay, now no SWR here. Let's switch to upper sideband and to do a test with uh, let's put some more power let's increase the power here to 50 okay and see testing testing sierra victor 2 radio mexico kilowatt portable there no swr there okay this has been uh, the uh, atas uh, antenna video um uh, Starting to pack things. Sun is uh, starting to get a bit cold, actually. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. Uh, like and share this video if you find it useful. And subscribe to my channel for more ham radio reviews. Uh, Seventy-three.